Open Coral Draw and start a new file. Find your image and drag it onto your new file. To make a sticker out of this file, you're going to want to create a border. To do this, select your image and click on the Trace Bitmap button at the top of the page. Scroll down, use the Outline Trace, and use the Line Art selection. The computer will now try to change our image into vector shapes. Make sure to do remove your background and keep your original image. As you can see, our image is now turned into vector shapes and the background is removed. Click OK. You're going to want to open your object manager. To do that, go to your window, select Dockers, and select Object Manager. Select the new group of objects that were just made by transferring your image into vector shapes. Ungroup them. and create a boundary. We now have our boundary. Select all your old curves and delete them. Using your new boundary curve, select a contour tool Choose Outside Contour and Rounded Corners. Also make sure that you're using an RGB color. We like to use red. Next, choose the spacing that you want for your border. Once you're fine with the size of your border, click on the contour group in the object manager and break the contour group apart. Now you'll have your own curve. You'll want to right click on the curve and break the curve apart. Now you'll have your inner geometries. You'll want to get rid of these. Now that we have our border curve, you can delete your existing original boundary curve. Now we can group our bitmap and our curve together. Once these are grouped together, we can now resize them. Select your size, and then add some registration marks to your page. To do that, select the circle shape maker, hold control, and make yourself a circle. You can then go to the top and choose a diameter of your circle of 0.25 inches. Make sure that it's filled in with RGB black.
and has an outline pen, which is a hairline width, and also RGB black. When making registration marks, it's always good to have more. We like to use two or more. Since you'll be making large batches of stickers, you'll want to make sure that your original bitmap won't get into the way of the print job. Select your original bitmap and click Edit Bitmap. This will open up Coral Photo Paint. Now that you're in Coral Fo Photo Paint, go to your window drop down menu, select Dockers, and go to Object Manager. You could click on your object to make it active. Next, go to your Magic Wand tool and select the background. You can now delete your background. Now, when we print, our image will only print the dirt bike and not the white background. Click Finish Editing, save your image, and return to Coral Draw. Since we are making large batches of stickers, we would like to put a perforated line around our sticker. This is so when we pull out our laser file, our stickers don't end up all over the floor, and we can pull out the file nice and neatly. To do this, select your curve and use the contour tool to create the new boundary. You'll want to make sure that your new boundary is with a new RGB color. We like to use blue. Break your contour group apart. Now that we have our final sticker, let's step and repeat. Click on your group of objects, go to edit, and click on the step and repeat. Go to your horizontal settings in step and repeat window and select the horizontal offset option. You're going to want to choose your spacing between your objects. Select a direction you want to repeat your object and try to give it as little space as possible in between stickers to save material. Select the number amount of copies you want and hit apply. Now that you have your duplicates, go to your object manager, select your new objects, go back to step and repeat, select no offset for your horizontal, and for your vertical, select the distance away from each sticker that you want. Choose your number of copies and hit apply.
make sure that you're going in the right direction. Now we have our sticker sheet. We're going to want to create a PDF for our print file. To do this, click on all your objects and ungroup them all. Select one of the images, click on Edit, Find and Replace, Find Objects, Find Objects that Match Currently Selected Object, Hit Next, Hit Finish, Find All, and you're going to want to Edit and Cut Your Selection. Next, make a new page. This new page will be our PDF printing page. Go to Edit and press Paste. Now we have our stickers without the cut lines. Go back to your first page and select your registration marks. Edit and copy the registration marks onto your second page. You can now save this page as your PDF for printing your stickers onto your sticker material. Your first page will be used as your cut file for the laser. We'll see how this is done in Job Control next. For your perforation marks, you'll want to go into Job Control, double click on your working area, select the color that you made your perforation marks. Click on Cut with CO2, select your settings, and in the advanced options, select the links checkbox. The links will make your line perforated. You can adjust the settings of the perforations in your settings. Go to options, link, and now you could set the distance in between each link and the width of each link. This is great to do in job control because doing this in your art program may crash your program due to causing hundreds of thousands of curves. This is yet another great feature of job control.